Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Have you ever thought about buying the Apple Watch Ultra, but somehow it's too expensive? <laughs> well, I have a solution for you right here. This is the HK8 Pro Max and it's an Apple Watch clone from China. Alright guys, so as you can see from this quick unboxing video, you don't get so many things in the box but uh, I really like the presentation of it and you don't really need more than this, it's the wristband, the watch and a little bit of a manual. Now compared to the Apple Watch Ultra's price which starts from $700 and up, this one costs barely $40. So let's get right into the differences between this and the Apple Watch Ultra and if it's worth your money. So the HK8 Pro Max resembles the Apple Watch Ultra at least 99%, but hey, what's the catch here? Maybe it would be the display. Well, wrong. It's an AMOLED display with a 2.12 inch touchscreen, 485 by 520 pixels of resolution, so maybe it has cheap plastics inside of it. Well, according to the site, it actually has titanium alloy, so it should be quite durable and I've tested that uh, for quite a long time. There isn't a single scratch on it. Okay, then it must be the waterproof of the device, huh? Well, no, it's IP68 waterproof and I've tested that multiple times. It actually works. Just make sure that you dry it up completely after you have submerged it in water and of course don't try to charge it while it's still being uh, wet or has some moisture inside of it. Oh, also that nasty speaker tends to hold up quite a bit of water so you might want to get rid of that as well. Here is how the watch will sit on your wrist both with the rubber band and with the fabric one. Personally I prefer the fabric one but it's kind of a little bit difficult to take it on and off. And let's not forget about the battery which lasts approximately 5 to 7 days and if you turn on specific features it can last up until 10 days or more guys. This is the charger which is magnetic and it's pretty cool but the charging speed is kind of slow it probably will take you around 3 to 4 hours to fully charge this device. And here is the speaker test so you can see how the device sounds. Alright guys, let's talk a little bit about the software of the device. I'm going to scroll through a few of the watch faces so you can see how they look like. And you might also have noticed that this watch is actually quite smooth, almost almost like the Apple Watch Ultra in terms of smoothness. And that's due to its very powerful dual core chip. It's just so pleasant to navigate through the menus and so smooth and I love this the most out of everything else. There is also your recent tabs here which you can close, unfortunately only one by one, you can't uh, close them all at once, but it's still a nice feature to have and on the left side when you press the button you have your sports. Again plenty of things to choose depending on what you want to do. Swiping up will reveal the control center and there's quite a few of options here, you can quickly and easily check everything like do not disturb mode, lift wrist to wake up the device and so much more. Now pay attention here, this option in specific makes sure that when your display turns off after a few seconds another watch is going to be displayed for an another few seconds, probably around 5 or 10 seconds and it's this one. And this actually drains so much battery, I have no idea why but if you turn this option off you will increase your battery at least double. From 5 days to around 10 days which is still a lot better than the 2 days the Apple Watch Ultra provides. Now I would like to mention something here about the sensors of the device, the blood pressure and the blood oxygen monitoring are not one of the best, probably they're not really accurate, if accurate at all. But going through the settings of the device you can see there's quite a bit of things that you can tweak and I will briefly show you all of them before we proceed with the app for the smartphone. And guys, if you like the video, please like it, comment and subscribe, it would really help me out and my channel. Thank you so much.
And so finally we will be taking a look at the smartphone app, it's called the WearFit Pro. Plenty of things to say about this app, but in my opinion it's not one of the best apps for smartwatches. Uh, I know for sure that uh, many other Apple clones exist and many other apps exist as well. But uh, this one surely still provides all the necessary features and some unnecessary ones as well. There is your standard exercise section which you can control and see all of your progress. Uh, there are a couple of uh, games which I don't know, frankly I don't know why they exist. And the most important part probably is the face watches. So there are so many face watches here to choose from but unfortunately because of the app itself as I said many of them are paid. Like you can get a subscription which unlocks more faces for less money but I would personally prefer if they were just free. I am still quite impressed that uh, they were able to make so many watch faces, even animated ones, which I am a real big fan of. And if that's not for you, then you can always customize your own watch face. But moving on, there's also plenty of other settings like your contacts. You can't store more than 7 because of the limited storage, but that's understandable. There are other smartwatches that come with uh, more storage, like the Hello Watch 3 for example. The coolest feature of uh, this watch would probably be the NFC. Yes, you can actually use NFC to pay for stuff. So that about wraps it up. You can explore the app further if you want, because there are a couple of things that I didn't cover. So there you have it guys, that's all that I have for you in this video. Tell me if you like the watch down in the comments, like, share and subscribe and thank you so much. Have a nice day!